cheesecake topped banana bread. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags 12. Hello, everyone. First thing you're going to do is get a large bowl and you're going to place four mashed, very ripe bananas into the bowl. To this, we will add four tablespoons of vegetable oil, one egg, one half cup of white granulated sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and just stir that around until it is combined. Now we will add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then you're gonna stir this around until it is just combined. Just, just stir it until you don't see any more glumps of dry flour. Grease a nine inch springform pan, pour your banana bread batter in the bottom of it, and then you're gonna bake it at 350 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes until the top is set. And if you stick a toothpick in it, it comes out clean, and then you're gonna let that cool a bit. Now for the filling, that is four eight ounce packages of happy cream cheese, half a cup of sugar, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, and then you're going to blend this until it's nice and smooth. You don't have any large lumps of cream cheese. Then take one cup of milk, heat it in the microwave or on the stove until it's nice and hot, and then sprinkle on a tablespoon of gelatin powder. Now what I should have done here is just sprinkled it lightly and let it sit for a moment just for it to absorb some of the liquid. Uh, I tried to stir it in right away. Um, which worked anyway. I just had to stir a really long time because there were quite a few clumps and lumps in it. So just make sure it's completely dissolved. Pour it into your cream cheese mixture. And then you're going to blend it very well until it's nice and smooth. Now, as you can see, it looks almost like slightly thickened whipped cream. Kind of. Now, there's our cheesecake out of the oven and cooled. It doesn't have to be completely cold, but make sure it's cooled enough. Pour that cheesecake mixture on top and it's going to look like it's not all going to fit. It will. It's going to be really full, but it will fit. Then we're going to put this in the refrigerator and we're going to allow it to chill for several hours or overnight until it's set. And what I did is I put it in the refrigerator. I allowed it to set. Um, and once it was set, I covered it with some plastic wrap. If you put the plastic wrap on right away, it might stick and you end up pulling off a layer. Anyway, there it is uh, after overnight in the fridge, about eight hours. And I ran a butter knife around the edge. Now you'll have to do this because it's not a cooked cheesecake. And when you cook a cheesecake, it usually pulls away from the size naturally. You don't have to worry about it. Because this is not a baked cheesecake, you need to run a knife around the edge to make sure it's released. And then when I released it, I realized it was sticking like crazy still, so I went around again just to make sure that it was completely attached from the sides. Now what happened here was because the cheat, the actual banana bread had pulled away from the pan when it baked, some of the cheesecake mixture flowed between the pan and the banana bread. And when I took off the spring form pan edge, it looked really messy. So what I did is I just took an offset spatula and I went around and just cleaned up the edge a little bit just to make it look nicer. But you know what, it would have been fine and tasted, would have tasted good even with a raggedy looking edge. But I wanted to, to look good for pictures, of course. And it didn't take much, just a little bit around there. And you can see the nice, the two layers show up quite nicely. Now, I was wondering how this was going to slice. So I'm going to slice out a piece for you here. It actually sliced very easily. The cheesecake was nice and set. And it was actually remarkably easy to pull this slice out of the pan. And usually the first piece to get out is always the hardest. And there it is. And um, you can garnish this with pieces of banana. You can cover the whole top of the cheesecake with banana, but because I was only gonna get eat a couple of these pieces, what I did was just garnish the individual slices instead. If you're gonna serve it at a party or something, you might wanna put bananas all over it. And there it is, you've got the creamy cheesecake, wonderful moist banana bread. What a combination. This one is a winner. I like this, my family enjoyed it, and uh, it's a great kind of unusual dessert. You could bring this to a potluck. I think people would really like it. I'm gonna add this to my cheesecake playlist where I have all sorts of different kinds of cheesecake. If you love cheesecake, go check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.